Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ebin Jones. I am doing my DM Interventional Radiology training at Grand Medical College, Mumbai. And in this video, we will be discussing on how to prepare for NEAT SS for Interventional Radiology. So, an introduction to Interventional Radiology would be, uh, Diagnostic Radiology focuses on solely on imaging and Interventional Radiology is used to treat a variety of conditions. And these conditions would range from tumor ablations, uh, angioplasty stenting, embolizations, biopsies, and drainages. Now, the advantage of IR is it's an incredibly versatile field and it will offer both diagnosis and treatment in a single setting. Now, how to prepare from first year of radiology residency? I would say in first year, read RUMAC, uh, that is for USG. I would say at least read the first book, that is very important. And uh, chest x-ray survival guide for x-rays, that will give you a basic idea on how to approach x-rays. You should read about fluoroscopic procedures and definitely read FARS, that is for the physics. And uh, if possible, if you can plan the FRCR step one in the end of first year or starting of second year, that would be the ideal time. Once you are in your second year and third year, you should pick up a main book, whether that is Berry, Granger's or Navni. That should be a Bible and you, that, that should be, you should be reading that multiple times. And then uh, you should add notes from Radiopedia and online articles. And you should read Osborne, that is very important from, uh, for neuroradiology. You should read Webb for uh, thoracic radiology. And try to plan FRCR step 2A in the end of third year or middle of third year. Now, once you are in the final few months of uh, NEAT SS, I would say revise the main book again, whether it's Berry, Granger's or Navni. Then you should pick up a concise book of, of radiology. I would say core radiology or crack the core. Both are equally good and read either one of them. And read FRCR 2A MCQ books. That will give you a good idea on how to approach radiology MCQs. And you should revise Osborne. And I would say if you're not able to revise uh, page to page, I would say at least read uh, aneurysms, stroke trials, AVM and AVF uh, classifications, neurocutaneous syndromes and tumors. And if you have time, try to read tables and images from Scott Atlas. And uh, definitely revise Web. Web is a pretty short book and it is very high yielding. Suppose you're not able to read the whole book, I would say at least read uh, ILDs, Connective Tissue Disorders, COPD and Cystic Lung Diseases. Revise SFARS, uh, that is for the physics, and try to read uh, FRCR Step 1 Physics MCQ books and that will give you a basic idea on how to approach physics MCQs. And Interventional Radiology, if you want to pick up a book, I would say Kandarpa is a beautiful book and that will give you a good idea about the whole spectrum of Interventional Radiology. And uh, or def definitely do spotters. You can do it from the Aunt Mini book and even rat cases also. Now the exam pattern is you have 150 MCQs and you have 150 minutes. So that is one minute for one question. I would say try to solve each question in around 40 seconds so that you will have some time to revise or check some questions which you have marked. And the marking scheme is plus four minus one. And I would say always attempt more than 140 questions in the exam. Now, once you're done with the exam, then will come the counseling. And uh, while you choose a college, I would say the uh, very important factor would be the spectrum. So here in uh, Grand Medical College, we do neuro, body, peripheral and aortic interventions. We do head to toe. And uh, in non-vascular also, there is CT, USD guided biopsies, drainages, ablations and MSK procedures also. And other than spectrum, I would say an important thing would be city. Uh, try to choose a city where you want to settle in the future or somewhere that is closer to your home. And always look for the bond that is associated with the DM. In Maharashtra, it's two years. In Tamil Nadu, also it's two years. So do check how many years bond you have. And another thing is uh, DRNB courses uh, do not have bond. So that is a very good advantage because you will be done in three years. So I hope you have a basic idea on how to approach this NEAT SS. Uh, best of luck and thank you.